Circuit breakers don't flip, they trip. I got them confused with break dancers. <laughs> a Toshiba T1100 wouldn't have the processing power to burn your thighs. <laughs> Computers used to be slow, but they weren't hot as <laughs> You could play Prince of Persia for 12 hours, and we did. <laughs> your thighs would be cool as ice. You could store meat on them. <laughs> I said Whiskers wasn't a person's last name. But some of you did a little research, checked places like Ancestry.com, and figured out somewhere between 700 to 850 people currently have that last name. I guess it was a common surname for cake makers. <laughs> I don't have a lot of confidence about tonight's corrections. Joyce did a lot, Joyce sent in a lot. <laughs> and so sometimes I feel like it's gonna be red hot and yeah. <laughs> like if you got a ton going on today or tonight or whenever you're watching it, you could skip it. <laughs> a lot of people came out in defense of the Compass app on the iPhone. <laughs> Some ecologists said it comes in very handy for them. And a few people said, uh, you should be careful what you say. If you're lost in the wilderness, it's incredibly helpful. Just make sure it's a wilderness where all the trees have outlets. <laughs> Just look, if you need a compass, get a compass. Get a practical, don't count on your phone's compass. You can't over rely on technology. I could get a teleprompter, but I use Wally because <laughs> For his faults, never, battery's never gone dead. <laughs> During HR meetings, goes low, gets low. <laughs> Definitely been in like somewhere between three and 5% at a couple of those HR meetings. Uh, speaking of Wally, I often tell him not, in the body of the show, I say stop interrupting uh, my monologue because he'll, he'll talk. And one of you wrote, it's impossible for him to interrupt a monologue because as soon as he talks, it's a dialogue. This is the <laughs> I gotta put up with. <sighs> Did a, a joke Seth can't tell this week. A banger, by the way. <laughs> Worth watching. Really good one. Jackal wrote, you need to change the graphic of Seth in the opening package. And I immediately thought, that's a great point because I'm wearing a suit, old haircut. You know what? Good work, Jackal. I actually thought, look at that. A helpful note from a Jackal, then kept reading. You need to change the graphic of Seth in the opening package. He looks so much older now. <laughs> D distinguished. Also, in that segment, I joke that when I blow out my birthday candles, I wish for lesbian twins. Jenny took offense, as a per usual. <laughs> but when you ran to my defense and said, shame on Jenny, I didn't say I wish for lesbian twins for sexual reasons. She just jumped to that conclusion. Maybe I wished for them because I needed some woodworking done and <laughs> wanted to support a family business. Maybe a correction, Seth can't tell. <laughs> we said, uh, we showed a picture of Bernie Sanders um, in uh, Star Wars, and we, uh, we called it a cruiser. We should have said uh, Star Wars, uh, we should have said an X4 land speeder. Sorry, nerds. Um, <laughs> talked about President Biden's train trip, secret train trip to Ukraine from Poland, showed a stock photo of a train. Many of you said it was a, a German train. I want to clear that up right away. Because when it comes to attention to detail, I consider train enthusiasts the knitting community on rails. <laughs> hey, speaking of the knitting community, you guys remember my famous uh, sweater vest knitted by the great Patty Lyons? Well, you might also remember this whole thing, whole Corrections Universe started with a, a Lego error.
and somebody made this they, to, to commemorate what we're doing. Look at this. It is a, it is a version of me in my sweater vest made, made of Lego. Pretty impressive. And then they go, uh, and this goes with it. And you guys will probably figure this out faster because I, I was like, is this like a you know, land speeder X4? And then I realized. <laughs> I think this is. So that's nice. I'm gonna put that over here for now. We are gonna have to clean this up. We're gonna do like a, I, it, we, yeah, we'll do like a, um, a March Madness thing. You know, like the Tournament of Things we did first year. Very popular. Um, <laughs> we'll do like a, well, you'll have to vote. If something stays, something goes. And this is a mess right now. So, you know, go over to seacaptainpolls.com, uh, blow the dust off it, and. Uh, <laughs> Oh, hey guys, is this a nice, uh, is this a nice gift? Is this something that uh, you would send, you would go out of your way to send in the mail to a person who's made it clear a certain phobia he has about a former fast food mascot? Here, can you give me a little, uh, can we give me a candle here, a uh, camera here, excuse me. Just heads. <laughs> just a, just, a hundred heads of this. If you want to buy these for a friend, just go on Amazon and search for the devil's teeth. <laughs> uh, last week, while just discussing uh, Bruce Springsteen's album, Nebraska, I suggested Springsteen would never sing the song Mansion on the Hill in concert. He has played that song 138 times in concert, <laughs> including just last month in Florida. Uh, Springsteen fanatic said I should have said State Trooper or Used Cars, which are the least played Springsteen songs in concert, 38 times each. Used Cars, of course, do you remember that song? It's where he tries to sell all the cars he's mentioned in other songs. <laughs> Pink Cadillac, 69 Chevy. If you're on a budget, we got some skeleton frames of burned out Chevrolets. <laughs> Someone asked, what is my favorite Springsteen album? If it's not Nebraska, I don't know. It's either Wild, The Wild and the Innocent or Born to Run. Gun to my head, Desert Island, I can only bring one. I don't know, I think I might have to bring Born to Run because Thunder Road is my favorite Springsteen song. So I don't know. It's certainly not Nebraska. However, if I could only bring one movie to a desert island, it would be Nebraska starring Will Forte. <laughs> Which you haven't seen, if you haven't seen, is like a, a less funny MacGruber. <laughs> or a more funny MacGruber, depending on where you fall on MacGruber. Very polarizing film. People have been saying recently, and I think it's true, and I think it's a credit to the people who come every week, that this would be impossible to follow if you didn't start from the beginning. And, you know, I do encourage everybody who's watching this for the first time and, uh, you know, frustrated by the fact that they don't have a pause or stop on their laptop <laughs> on the phone with their IT guy right now and be like, won't stop playing! So I was thinking, like, should we do it? Because we're coming up on 75. We're not going to do a big spectacular. But should we start releasing them from the beginning as a podcast? You know, would that be a helpful way for people to catch up? So I guess my question for Liederman would be, if you go connect with the NBC podcast people and then get back to me, do you think we could get an answer in, like, 10 months? Also, should we start, I think, you know, we've done this for so many years now, the dates are less helpful. Like maybe we should, in the, in the YouTube description, put episode number. You can still put the date, but I think maybe the episode number would be helpful. And you might be saying, hey, Seth, isn't this a conversation you should be having with Liederman during the workday? Why are you doing it in the body of corrections? Well, I want to do it like this, no follow-ups. <laughs> P 
popes can have kids. Popes can have kids, you guys. Alexander VI had at least seven. Popes are, are allowed to have, I did not realize, uh, as many kids as they want under the ecclesiastical canon. Uh, the specific uh, one that allows them to have as many kids as they want is the Nick canon. <laughs> I mean, it's the sound of a puzzle piece fitting perfectly, you know? I don't go looking for them. Sometimes they just come and find me. And of course, popes can physically have children. You know, unless they have a medical procedure known in the Catholic faith as a Vatican estomy. <laughs> I told you. <sighs> it's just they were like all terrible puns this week. <laughs> That's not what I set out to do, but then, no, this one's not. We said Bernie Sanders' finger was like a samurai sword, and then we also said he kept it in a holster. If it was a sword, it would be kept in a scabbard, a sheath, or a saya, which is the Japanese word for sheath. And if you forget it, it's easy to remember, because if you encounter a samurai and they put their sword away, you breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> it cost, it uh, cost us all a little bit, but we, you won't forget it. Time for animal flubs. Are you guys not gonna do the song? Uh, no. We're uh, not gonna sing the song today because I read the YouTube comments and someone wrote, quote, I gotta say, the animal flub song sucks. It's not funny, and not in the anti-humor kind of way. It's grating, and it's boring, end quote. What a son of a... Ah! Itch! <laughs> we joked that someone drove, uh, crashed their car into a drive through um, because uh, they were out of biscuits and uh, that they need the biscuits because it takes the edge off the meth. <laughs> but someone said that it doesn't track because meth is an appetite suppressant. So you wouldn't take it and then want biscuits that badly. And actually meth is taking advantage of this. They're rebranding themselves, Schumacher. <laughs> You've probably seen the ads. Meth, the poor man's Ozempic. Last thing, and this is uh, for our friends over at YouTube, because we don't do the closed captioning, okay? So you can criticize the closed captioning all you want. We have nothing to do with it. And I do appreciate that YouTube does it. I'm very happy that people who rely on closed captioning have it. But sometimes I need you to make some editorial decisions and think before you put it in how it's gonna look to the viewer. Now last week, I'm wearing my Skata, it's got a headpiece. I didn't know ahead of time that the antenna were gonna be falling into my face. So out of necessity, I'm blowing them out of my face. Like that's not a thing, right? Like uh, even if you, you know, are hearing impaired, you can tell that I'm blowing, right? There's no reason to put that in because here's the problem. It's just a picture of me and it says blows. Like, who's that for, you know? Like, just, I think, in general, like, let's all just do better. We've done this, we've done, like, 74 of these. Yeah, and some weeks, I don't have an out. <laughs> See me next week.